loyal to pull up here and act fibernet recently announced that they have released the first 1 gbps broadband connection and fibernet in india now act uh, fibernet claims that they are the third largest broadband provider in india the based out of bangalore and has operation in 11 cities they say that the 1 gbps connection operation will start with hyderabad and then slowly move to the other 10 cities now Something to note here, most of your local ISPs still now give you a max of 100 Mbps. So what ACT is giving you is at least 10x or more speed. Plus, 1 Gbps connection is equal to what Google Fibernet provides to some of the selected US cities. So this is great, uh, but 1 Gbps connection, is this a history in making or is this just the most the speediest connection that you have should you really get excited about and especially an average home goer if act ever provides you to the home goer so in this video we're going to discuss those number one is the continuation of what i just mentioned act fibernet officially mentioned that they are actually aiming at the startup the retailer and some of the snb small and medium businesses not exactly the home goer they do not say whether they will extend it to the home goer all or whether a home goer can volunteer for this connection and official but they know that an average home goer probably would not opt for an one gbps but they do not know that with internet the speedier the better and just cannot get enough of a high speed broadband number two is that the main caveat with all these connections are up to up to up to that's the keyword so up to 1 gbps meaning that a max of 1 gbps and if you're an existing broadband user of course you would be most of us are you know that whatever speed the isp tells you 50 mbps 4 mbps 100 mbps even 1 gbps is at the root level is at the switch level after the switch it gets divided into many houses divide or it gets divided into the whole company with all the employees and that same speed gets bifurcated gets distributed so you alone are not gonna get the one gbps connection it is not a dedicated connection plus i don't expect the download speed to be more than 100 or 150 mbps that's much less than what the connection speed is but still even if it's 100 or 100 150 mbps or even 200 mbps it's actually much more than what your local isp's total connection that they're giving Number three is that it's expensive. It's 6,000 plus taxes, which should go up to about 7,000 or more than that, which is just over $100. Now, that's really, really expensive for us average home users. For most of our average home users, unless you have a big bungalow, it's quite unaffordable and unproductive as well. Number four, is that to get the best out of the 1 gbps connection you need to upgrade the hardware as well if you haven't already so what act says is that it works best with a core i7 processor with 2.5 gigahertz clock speed 8 gb of ram and a 1 gbps lan you know lan port plus you also need to have a copper cable that actually can support that is compatible to carry that much of uh, connection speed which is mainly a cat 6 which is four pairs now last i checked a 300 meters d-link cat 6 cable costed about 6500 or more on amazon you might not need a 300 meter unless again you have a bungalow sort another point is that unlike some of the other isps like let's say bsnl airtel or um, vodafone or any other act only has operations in 11 cities and most of those actually all of those except delhi are mostly in south india uh, if you're in north india or east india or in uh, west india you are of luck and act does not say when they will come to the other cities apart from these 11 cities and they are actually very slow in uh, going to new cities i've been waiting to get their connection in noida and gurgaon for ages they only have it in delhi so if you're in this 11 cities you might get this fast connection but for anything uh, other than this 11 cities you still have to wait now x says that this one gbps connection is no way unlimited it is unlimited but the speed is not unlimited it's uh, the fup or the cap is one tb so after you use up one tb of data your the connection speed will come down they haven't said how much by how much it will come down but even if it comes down to a significant level it'll still be like good enough but let's just calculate at one gbps connection if you get the full speed 
how much in how much time you'll exhaust the one TV and turns out in about 16.7 minutes. That's the amount of time in which if you have a full one Gbps connection, you will uh, exhaust one TV. Now reduce that to speed. Let's say you're only getting 500 Mbps out of that one Gbps because as I told you before, it's at the switch level and not at the house level. Even at 500 Mbps, if you continuously use that, if you consistently get that speed, which you desire to, then double the time, 32 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. So yeah, that's the case with actually everything and that this calculation is not as easy as it, is, as it sounds. But if you keep on downloading uh, all the movies and everything, you finish this 1 GB, uh, 1 TB, sorry, 1 TB um, limit in no time. One of the biggest advantage or disadvantage to a sword basically depending on what you want is that all your videos and media content will probably start playing by default in the highest possible resolution so if someone has uploaded a 4k video on youtube or on vimeo or, or daily motion then you will by default get those at 4k or at full hd whatever which means that if you do not go to the settings and um, set this to not play in HD, your videos will start playing in the highest possible resolution, which means that today, uh, which video you enjoy even at HD on your phone, it might start playing at 4K and you'll eat up those bandwidth really, really quick. Now, the good thing is that if you wanna project your phone to the TV or if your TV is a smartphone, a smart TV, sorry, and you wanna play 4K content there, full HD content there on this big screen, this will look brilliant, even on your phone, very, very crisp. But do you actually need that high a resolution? If you do not need, and if you're more concerned about keep using your data for the longest possible time, then make sure you go to the settings and set the videos not to play in HD by default. So then guys, those were my thoughts. Now, one Gbps connection, I think is a really good thing provided you get it as an average home user. If you're a company or a startup, then there's nothing much to get excited about. Many of the bigger companies still get one Gbps or even a more speed at the enterprise level. Uh, at 6000 I think as a startup or as an SMB or as a retailer, this is really good price for you. But if you have more than let's say 20, 30 employees, this whole 1 Gbps will get bifurcated and this get distributed. So ultimately each employee might get only that much what you're right now getting with uh, one connection at your home. But still, 1 Gbps is a great advancement and it's good to know that India is really getting digital and we're getting at that Google fiber speed, a uh, fiber net speed. And this is really a window into what the future holds and I'm really excited about the possibility in the future, if not at present.